Hey folks, Paul of Flarky here. Marketing rant for you. Twitter, Facebook, Google+, any social media platform that you're on, resharing other people's content can be an awesome, awesome, awesome way to get the attention of the, uh, of the people that you're sharing, to bring new content to your audience, to show them that it's not all just about you, 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 and your product, 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 product. But... Do not fall into the trap of blindly retweeting, resharing, reposting other people's content. It is not smart, for lack of a better term. Point in case, we recorded a podcast over the weekend. I happened to record a podcast called Nothing Serious Podcast. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, well, let's just say it's not exactly safe for work. Um, we tend to have very strong opinions, we tend to express them, and we tend to make fun of a lot of things and have a lot of jokes that uh, would not be safe for the younger audience. So, you know, when we talked about fur babies and pets, it wasn't the brightest thing in the world to do for pet stores, pet shops, that sort of thing, to start retweeting the podcast episode simply because we used the hashtag fur baby or the hashtag pets. In fact, if any of their audience actually listened to it, they're probably wondering why the heck they were endorsing the podcast because that's what a retweet, a repost, a plus one, a like, a share equates to in the minds of your followers and the minds of your audience. So, lesson to be learned here, you know, check it, read it before you share it. Otherwise, you're going to end up with egg on your face and potentially sharing something very, very embarrassing. That's it. Paul out. I'll be back with another rant soon.